I was looking through the archives of the Lithuanian Music Information Center and I came across Antanas Rekasius. And when I started looking at his scores and listening to his music, I just thought, oh, this is amazing. This is such fascinating and powerful and stimulating music. <laughs> I want to play this man's music. It's a series of chamber music works and also solo piano. It's kind of music of extremes, but I think it's extreme as in he's totally himself as an artist. So that is uh, Prakashius' new CD. Uh, generally, he seems like a very larger-than-life character, but it's a very strange kind of jazz. It's almost like somebody has never heard any jazz from, say, America. It's like it's a kind of homegrown jazz, but it's not really jazz because it's embedded in avant-garde music, which was avant-garde at the time. If you watch him in these old films, he clowns about. He's very funny. He's almost preposterous. Um, he struts around like a peacock and He's shouting at musicians and he's laughing and he's creating this, um, uh, this, try, he's, this energy, this creative energy to get the music out of the, of the musicians. And, but this energy is embedded in the notation of the scores. Cassius does, he underpins these kind of blocks of material with improvisation. So he allows the forbidden element to come in to this contemporary music. I think he liked the theatrical gesture in live performance, but I think he really wanted musicians to modulate and change sounds and to extend their techniques um, in order to um, just make the sounds become alive and fluid and like molten lava and changing and exploding, etc. wonderful um, elasticity to sound which just, um, just it just kind of melts and falls off the page it's like he's thrown some paint at the score and it's just dripping down um, this is what sound is like uh, this is this is when you make a sound you love on your instrument
He always has these undulating um, pulsing chords in the synthesizer, um, which are different. Sometimes they're bitonal, like A major, F major at the same time. Other times they're cluster chords. Um, and I've never come, come across any music like it. The interesting thing about um, the, the works for saxophone, um, cello and percussion, as I said, is um, the, this wonderful juxtaposition of these instruments and how the melodic instruments, the saxophone and the cello, they can modulate sounds. Um, with a piano, you can't really modulate it. I mean, I can do that, and that's about it. Um, I didn't know Rakashis, and my uh, impressions of his personality are only uh, from, as I've said before, archive uh, films, footage of him rehearsing, talking. Um, but I think, I like to think we would have got on. Uh, composers need performers, and um, they need performers who are sympathetic to their work and want to work. I think Rakashis is more serious than we give him credit. I mean, in photos, he's nearly always smiling. He's always laughing and smiling in films and things. But I think, as I said, there is this weight to it. And, and I, I'm trying to think if there are any comparisons with other composers in the Soviet Union, other Russian composers. But I think what characterizes him is that he, his music is about freedom in a way, and um, there is that sense that he wanted to make what he wanted to make, as opposed to do it to toe the party line, um, and thank God for that.